for 20 minutes waiting for her to leave. <laughs> hey, 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 Janet, what is what is skin in Spanish? Tweet that, please, at the plot hole one. At the plot hole one. Uh, and if you tweet fucking me, curtains. <laughs> oh, my. Oh Jesus! So I, I wanted to say something real quick. Okay, good. Because I was kind of, I was kind of spellbound a little bit by when you said Happy Gilmore because I wasn't expecting it because I didn't see it the first time. Right. But I just wanted to say something to uh, to help fix everybody. This the, the one line from the movie that could help every American out that ever feels offended or ever feels hurt by anything in any way by something someone did or said. And that line is, "Well, he shouldn't have been standing there." <laughs> Wow. You hit that guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. Mr. Sanders. Yeah. Yeah. All right. We're going to do some obscure news really quick. Because, you know, I don't have... I do have gold, but not gold like I did last week. So, Switzerland. Uh, apparently... All right. Who here would dig through shit for $2 million worth of gold? Oh, fuck yeah. Yeah, I would. Well, then move to Switzerland. Yeah, yeah, I heard about this. Yeah, scientists find two million dollars every year in gold in the sewers, and you, you know, people think, well, yeah, what is that? Like they people lose, yeah, like people losing their rings and well, shit like that. No, but it is. It's microparticles from their watch factory, watch factories, mm-hmm. and ma- uh, pharmaceutical companies, so on and so forth. They just flush the shit. All right, they didn't flush it like. <laughs> No, they, but it makes they use way down. Basically, yeah. From waste. Yeah, exactly. Use, yeah, waste Oh, water. hey, here it is. Switzerland flushes away millions of gold and silver every year. Yeah. You think I just made that up? No, I just typed <laughs> in weird news today, or oh, obscure yeah. news today, so I'm looking at all the obscure yeah. news for the day. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, oh, this is a good one. So that has secure... I forget where this is at, but in a um, some restaurant, security footage catches a burglar coming into the store... Busting open the cash register, taking all the money, cooks himself some food, cleans up after he's cooked himself this food, and then tips. <laughs> now, this is what we need to learn here. If a motherfucking robbing your ass knows to tip, mm-hmm. then you should too. Yeah. Um, I'm sorry, but in the middle of you saying that, I came across a headline that says... Three bears break into Colorado restaurant. Don't find Find no porridge. porridge. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I saw that one, too. I saw that one, too. Uh, and then, yeah. Which is funny, because like, when I was in Alaska, and we were on one of our tours. Alaska. Alaska. <laughs> we, uh, we, passed by, we passed by this uh, little grocery store, because it's like they don't have Kroger's and shit. They're right. like little tiny uh, grocery stores. And they all have bars on their window. And they're like, now you see those bars, you think that's because we're, gonna, we're in a bad neighborhood. He's no. like, no, that's to keep the bears, bears out. out. Yeah. Because at night, they'll just go into the grocery store. Yep. They just go to town. Bear's like, fuck it. Hey, you humans are pretty fucking cool. You just left me a buffet out. Well, I like, hey, boo boo. Hey, boo boo. Man lived with corpse of yeah, mom, yeah, twin brother, for a year. I yeah. Saw, yeah, that was last yeah. week. Norman Bates all over again. It's weird. That's yeah. fucked up. Her all right, here we go. in a box. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. All right, so here we go. This is the this like that one I saw the, a couple of weeks ago. What was it? The, the uh, guys did the... Uh, Ancestry thing or whatever. These uh, guys they were fixed to get married, so they wanted to know about oh, their they history. Oh, they brother and sister. They were actually brothers. Yeah. Did y'all see that? No. no. It, it's hilarious. And That's fucked up. They were literally up. about to get married and did an ancestry background. There's, so, a pic- there's a picture here. You can, just one second. Wait, wait. What? What's the picture? What's the, is that? Is it what you're about to say? Have to do with the wedding? I don't know. Let no. See. That, well, yes or no? Oh, oh, no. The wedding photo? Oh. I was going to do that one, too, but... It looks like the the bride's giving him head. Very suggestive, yeah. And that's the wedding picture. Yeah. Apparently, that's a new thing. Oh, oh yes, I've seen that. Oh, the that's staged weird. photos? That's yeah. weird. That's like all the wedding party, the females, you know... Moon the, yeah, camera. Moon the camera. That's a little different. Mooning yeah. the camera and getting a blowjob is a little bit different. That ain't the same ball. That ain't the same fucking field. That ain't the same fucking sport. It's hockey. Yeah. I'm just kidding. That was uh, kind of joke funny. stealing again, mm-hmm. Joe Rogan. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Go on. Yeah. Okay. So this Go is on good. with the chlorophyll. So, uh, <laughs> chlorophyll. More like borophyll. Right? Right. <laughs> no, I will not make out with you. <laughs> Anyway, <clears throat> so we're all familiar with the Stanley Hotel, right? You guys oh, I just Stanley ran across Hotel. that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Uh, it was made famous by Stephen King. Uh, the Overlook Hotel, basically, right? Yep. So apparently it really does shine. There's a photo floating around that shows the images of two ghost girls. Come play with us, Danny. That's interesting. I also just read a thing about, uh, what was the producer, Kubrick's uh, involvement Kubrick. in the... Uh, in the uh, the Apollo landing, Apollo thing, yeah. and how many references there were in the yeah. shining to the fact that he was invited to stage that, and the twins was actually one of the things. Because cool. in the book, it was the one. Yeah, well, there's a lot of things that are changed. Um, uh, yeah, yeah. People that still believe cool. people. People still tinfoil hat that we've never been to the moon. Uh, I have no idea. You know, All right, look. I, when, I, the moon. when I when I said uh, I, I didn't necessarily that that, that that was a conspiracy theory I could get behind. It wasn't the fact that I'm saying we've never been to the moon. That's just yeah. stupid. I'm just saying if if it was true, that means we didn't go to the moon in '69. All right. Yeah. So we didn't. It was. You know, we, I'm not race, saying whatever. we haven't gone to the moon. I'm just saying we didn't do it when we said we did it. Yeah. People are like, well, if we how come we haven't how come we haven't gone back? That right there proves we've never been. Uh, we've gone. Uh, back. We've gone back. Three times, and yeah. we haven't. Well, how come we haven't been back since? Because that's some expensive ass shit. I do find it funny that the, I, you know one of the moon rocks they gave away to the museum was proven to be like, like not <laughs> not a moon rock at all. Well, so, uh, you know, I but that here, was kinda funny. here's the funny thing. Uh, here's the funny thing about that. People talk about that, right? Um, you do realize how we got the moon, right? Uh, yeah, it was an asteroid that was pulled into our orbit, basically. Oh, it was made there's, of cheese. There's, there's several. There's it was several made of different. cheese. It is made of cheese. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. Swiss. All right. There's several Sweet. different theories on that. Um, it was actually a twin planet to us at one point. Though. That's one thing. The and then we collided. Said. Yeah, one thing they said. Yeah. yeah. So. Anyways, I anyway. digress. Yeah, we digress. So those are the obscure news bits I found. That Stephen King. Yeah, is that one really, really two little girls. And I, I wish we could uh, pull the photo up. You've probably got the photo there. What I think happens like a double exposure. You know. <laughs> Man accused of peeing on family at Metallica concert. Yeah. Oh, I saw that too. Yeah. What a guy. That's a... Yay. Yeah. Again, now my dumpster story doesn't sound so strange. Now does it? No. I mean, some people just like getting peed on. I never said it sounded strange. I just don't understand why you would golden shower a perfectly drunken stranger. Just don't cross the streams. Well, you know, you make eye contact. Three seconds. And almost and the welcome. First three seconds if she I want to play a game. I forget. You can't hear the buttons that I'm pushing. How? I'm going to push it again. Wait one second. You don't say anything. Shh. Greetings and welcome. I want to play a game. Wake up. Yeah, that means I want to play a game. Ro- the Spanish word for skin is peel? Rojo peel? That just doesn't have the same ring to it. That, I'm, I'm mispronouncing it that because I'm white. You're probably saying it wrong. Absolutely. That's okay. Own it. I'm yeah. owning it. <laughs> All right, so we're going to play a game called Whose Line Is It? Whose line is it anyway? No, not that one. Damn it. Not the Drew Carey version. Damn it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give a line. And it's all come from Judd Apatow Films. Look, no. I'm out. <laughs> yes. Seth I'm, says I'm, I'm probably going to be in last place since he's out then. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> You're in last place. So I'm going to give the line. And the first person who chimes in with we'll the... We have no chimes. Just make a chime with your mouth. <laughs> Boop. Yep, that works. All right. So the way it's going to work is I'm going to give the line. You hit the lip. Let me give the whole line before you chime in. Uh, Fuck, dude. Is it that big of a deal? Yeah. Is it a big problem? I'm going to talk to you like I, I talk to my kids. I is like, it a big problem or a yeah, small problem? Yeah, it's a big problem because I like cutting you off. Oh, okay. Bet you do. Bet you like cutting me off. <laughs> All right, here comes the line. you got to give me the character and the movie, okay? Well, then you're going to fucking fail. <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> Well, okay, that's fine. I, I mean, can describe them. Yeah, if you can give me the actor. He was I t- black. <laughs> <laughs> he was black. He's tall and He's dark. black. He's bald. Okay, maybe not so for, tall. Maybe not so dark. Kevin. He was definitely Jeez black. He's a dude. English, motherfucker, do you speak it? He's black. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. All right, here we go. Marriage is like a tense, unfunny version of Everybody Loves Raymond, only it doesn't last 22 minutes. It lasts forever. Nobody. I know the line. Okay, good. You should know the movie. Can you give me the movie at least? No. You really can't give me the movie? No. It could be is three that, Is that Knocked Up? And that, that's Paul Rudd that said that? Correct? Yep. Knocked Up. Pete. There you go. Yep. Paul Rudd's character. All right, here we go. This is the one that everybody should get. 
Ding. <laughs> Dude, you look like a mano lantern. Oh yeah, that was uh, for your virgin. Yep. But uh, was it was it Paul Rudd or Seth Rogen who said it to him? Uh, it was, it was it, Paul Rudd. It was Paul Rudd. David yeah, is a character. Paul yeah. Rudd, yeah. All right, this is one. Maybe you go and get. Here we go. <laughs> Seth's like I'm gonna look at my phone. Seth's like I'm gonna go fucking look at meat curtains. <laughs> We have the meats. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm in a glass case of emotion. Oh, that's, yeah, that's Anchorman. Will Ferrell. You really can't give me the Ron fucking Burgundy. character Ron name Burgundy. on that Ron one. Ron Burgundy. Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. I'm just used to actor names. I got it. It's a single glass case of emotion. The man <laughs> on the motorcycle he kicked him. He kicked him. I'm going to contest. Ah! I'm going to contest that statement because you didn't follow the rules. So I'm going to demand. All right, whatever. That. You take the point. <laughs> you take the point. Take I don't give a shit. We're not winning anything. <laughs> Actually, I have two million dollars worth of gold. Yeah, you but just it was have a to shit. Dig through shit. To get it. <laughs> I can go to Switzerland. Gotta go to Switzerland to get when it. We have digging, a lot of cheese. <laughs> when you're done digging through the shit, and then there's no gold, we just go, oh damn. Oh damn. Were we supposed to already. have the gold in it? <laughs> I don't want to pay this you who gold. <laughs> but you can sell the shit for fertilizer. Oh jeez. No, I can't. But he can. Yep. Yep. No, I don't sell it. I just use it. Oh, that's right. Yeah. With <laughs> a trowel. Yeah, it seems to be a going trend around a bunch of people. Yeah. All right, here we go. Next one. You know how many foods are shaped like dicks? The best kinds. Yeah, that's uh, super bad. Yep. Uh, and that would be uh, Seth. Yeah. 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 <laughs> that would be, he's over there. You didn't have to it's point. He was over there. I, I, I knew it was Jonah Hill. I was just trying to remember it was Seth. Yeah. All right. Uh, let's see. Here we go. Uh, fuck you, hormones. Yes. You're a crazy bitch. Hormones. Not Allison. Hormones. Fuck them. No, uh, that, that was... Uh, this is 40, right? You are incorrect. Okay, my bad. Anybody else? Nope. Do I get a second guess? Nobody? Nobody? Knocked up. Knocked up. That's really the, the second guess was going to be. That was the, uh, the prequel to This is 40. <laughs> All right, here we go. Was uh, that a joke that only you laughed at? No. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Uh, it's not the going I'm worried about, but the coming. Oh, come on. Yeah, I know. Come on. Bob Barker from Happy Gilmore. <laughs> no. Bitch. <laughs> uh, I'm out on that one. Really? Yeah. That would be McLovin from Superbad. That's right.